Hi, today is October 16th, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1609 for the year, Slackjawed. I passed by a lamppost that was so surprised to see me, its jaw dropped. The lamppost stood there, silent and slack-jawed, with wires wrapped around the inside of its mouth. It kept staring at me, and I was like, take a picture, it'll last longer. But instead, I took a picture and walked on. Poem number 1610, Small Giant. He was 14 feet tall, which is tall for a human, but small for a giant, which is what he was. The other giants would call him Shorty and ask him how the weather was down there, whereas humans, who didn't find him very intimidating, compared him to the other giants, compared to the other giants, would... Poem number 1610, Small Giant. He was 14 feet tall, which is tall for a human, but small for a giant, which is what he was. The other giants would call him Shorty and ask him how the weather was down there, whereas humans, who didn't find him very intimidating compared to the other giants, would ask him if he had smelled the blood of any Englishman lately. At some point, he began to exclusively date human women. They seemed to better appreciate what he had to offer. Eventually, he settled down and got married and tried to raise a family, but that's another story. Poem number 1611, The Golden Family. I think I'm pregnant, the lady Jennifer said to her husband Gerald, the 14-foot giant. They had been trying for more than two years, and they were both so excited. But instead of a baby, Jennifer laid a golden egg, which Gerald sat on until it hatched. They named their first golden child Goldfinch and the second one, who came a year later, Goldie, and the third one, Goldenberg, after their favorite brand of peanut chews. The three children were extremely close, and when they grew up, they formed the new order of the, new order of the Golden Dawn. But that's another story. Poem number 1612, The New Order. Over time, the new order of the Golden Dawn became, simply, became known simply as the New Order. The New Order's work, which they called the Great Work, consisted mostly of adding a golden veneer to the lackluster elements of their small town. Now the houses and office buildings, the street signs and the sidewalks, the docks and the rocks, and even some of the cocks would shimmer and shine in the sun. Some people wondered whether there was anything of substance behind the golden facades, but of course there was, for this was true alchemy, and the town was richer for it, both materially and spiritually. Those who couldn't see it couldn't be helped, but those who could see it would one day awaken to the golden dawn. And the last poem of the day, poem number 1613, so close. The prize was a chocolate cigar wrapped in golden foil. The chocolate was dark and pure and full of antioxidants, flavanols, catechins, epicatechins, anthocyanins, and reservatrol. Each day she came so close to winning the cigar. Each day so close, but no cigar. She knew it was only a matter of time and that one day she would win it, but until then she would just get closer and closer and closer. She would get so, so close, so close she could taste it so close, but no cigar. She would get there one day, but until then, she would just get closer and closer, and oh, so close. All right, that's it. Thank you. Guess whether I appreciate you or not. I do. I appreciate you.